Hey everyone, this is Nick. In this video series, we're creating an Azure data pipeline. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to configure AZ Copy to be able to upload local files on your computer to the cloud. Um, and so what we're actually going to be doing is uploading a local Excel set, you know, CSV file into an Azure Data Lake storage account. And what's great about AZ Copy is it allows you to just upload files right from your command prompt. So you don't have to actually go in and sign into the cloud and then sign in, you know, get into your data lake storage account and hit upload. You can just do it right from your command line. So let me show you how this works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get go to this get started with AZ Copy. And to get there, just Google AZ Copy and hit this first link here, this first URL, and you're going to download AZ Copy. So you can either do Windows 64, Windows 32, let's do Windows 64, whatever you're working on. In the bottom left here, click on Open. You're going to extract this. And when you hit this Extract, it's going to ask you what folder you want to put it in. So you can put it in, you can create a folder, you can put it in any kind of folder you want to, um, and save it in there. Okay, once you do that, now we're going to go to our command line. And how you do that is in the bottom left here in the Start menu, click this little Start menu, type in CMD, Hit enter, and you're going to go right in here. Now, this is very important. Wherever you saved AZ Copy to, so let's say uh, you're on your C drive and you saved it in here, right? You actually want to go into that directory to be able to use AZ Copy. So, what you can do is hit CD, which just means change directory, and you see slash AZ Copy, right, to get into that. Now you can use it from there. Now, you can add uh, AZ Copy to a, a system path. Um, and an environment variable. It's outside of this scope. You can always just Google that. So then you can use AZ Copy from any director or any file path that you're in. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to go back into mine and I'll show you. Uh, and we'll just kind of go from there. So again, to clear your screen, you hit CLS and then enter to clear the screen there. And now for AZ Copy, you want to type in AZ Copy. Login. Okay, this is going to actually log into Azure for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to left click and then drag and then right click to copy this link. Go to a new browser. Okay, go here. It's going to ask you for a code. The code is going to be right here. And copy that again and control V to paste. And then if you see, I'm already signed in, so I won't do this, but you can just click this if you aren't to sign yourself in, and you'll be signed into AZ Copy and authenticated through your Azure account. Okay, once you do that, we can go right back into our command line here, type in AZ Copy, and hit Enter. And it's going to show you all the different commands you can do with it. So you can copy data, uh, right, so send data from one place to another. You can do sync. Uh, you can do a lot of really neat things with it. Um, so we're going to get out of this, and now we want to send a file to the cloud. So what we can do is go to our folder here, and let's just say we have a Excel file here that we want to send to the cloud, right? So all we're going to do, it's a CSV file. So all we want to do is you're going to type in easy copy, space copy, and then whatever file you want to send, you want to click on it. So you want to click on this here. And go up here and hit copy path. It's going to copy the file path and control V to paste that. Then hit space and then double quotes. And where do you want to send it to? Now, the first thing you want to do in AZ, for AZ copy is in your data lake storage account. Let's say you want to send it to our data lake storage account. The first thing you want to do is go in there and hit this access control. And you want to go to add role assignment and click storage blob data contributor. Hit your name. Hit save. Okay. The reason we're doing this is that Microsoft likes to keep everything contained. So even though we're a global user and we have all the rights and everything, it still wants you to go in and say, "Hey, I want to be able to contribute. You know, con uh, be a contributor to my data lake storage account." So then you can use AZ Copy. So you have to make sure that's in there first. And then if you go to role assignments and scroll down, you'll see that you're listed on there, and that's great. Now we can use AZ Copy. You only have to do that one time. So now, we're on a data lake storage account, and now we want to send this file to somewhere. So, let's say we have our container 9 here. 
let's say we want to send it first to just our container 9. So all you're going to do is hit properties here under the container, and you're going to copy this link here that we're going to send it to. Okay? So you're going to hit this, close the quotes, and hit enter. Okay? And it completed it. Now, let's go back. So container 9, and that CSV file is in there. So if you click on it, you can hit edit, and it's now uploaded to the cloud. So that's how you get to the container. Now, let's say you want to upload it to an actual directory, to a folder. So I have a folder 10 here. So all you're going to do, same thing. You're going to copy this here. If you hit the up arrow, we can go right back to what we just did. And now instead of this container 9, you're going to hit slash folder 10. Right, so we're sending it to container 9, and then in that directory I just showed you, folder 10. And make sure you hit a slash here. That's very, very important. And close the quotes. Hit enter. Then it completed. So now, go back into container 9 and click on this folder 10. You see the file is now in there. Right, just got uploaded in there. And that's really it. So that's really it. That's uh, be able to upload files very easy and very quickly uh, right from your command prompt. Um, thank you for your time, and uh, join me in the next video. Thanks.